do the, why don't you do the intro? Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> this is Lady Survival Stream, and we're here to uh, discuss us. life. I can discuss us. <laughs> 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 that was actually so funny. What? That was bad. That was okay. very bad. <laughs> you smell like rubbing alcohol from that rum. I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Maybe we should just start this with Pop Rocks. We have a thing of Pop Rocks. You know, that might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. <laughs> it's in that bag. <laughs> We should just like film us gaming and like hanging out. We did that last time. If we just film us gaming and hanging out, you'll be able to clip out parts all day long. We have a lot of fun. Wait, I can't you do it because I won't know how many. I was I thought I was making the scare face. <laughs> I need more. Lady Survival here and Derek is here too. And <laughs> Hi. Um, so today um, is my last day of my visit with him. We had our longest visit yet. Uh, usually they're only like a week long, but this time uh, it was like 11 days long. And then like the day before I had to leave, we were able to like reschedule it longer because he found out he had the week off of work. So I was like, I'm going to stay longer. And then so now we've had like an extra like six days. So it's like a 17 day visit. So it was really, really cool. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that how long it was? So like more than two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was really, really good. And I have to leave tomorrow in the morning. So I wanted to make a video with him before I go home so that I have something to upload with him. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> he's amazing. Um, so we're wearing our matching t-shirts. Check it out. T-shirts. Um, we got them at Hot Topic on our first visit, so they're pretty cool. Um, mm -mm. We're just playing WoW and listening to wow tavern music while we make our video and we don't really have a specific plan for a video other than just talking about us basically just like how we got here and everything so yeah i don't really know where to start where do you think we should start um well like when did you how would you tell them when you first followed me when i first followed you <laughs> uh i was at work a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Like a year or two ago? Two years? Yeah, I think about two years ago. And I thought you were the hottest girl I'd ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Uh -huh. And I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna follow this person. I saw you on the explore tab. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you, you basically stalked me for like a few months. Yeah, I stalked you for a little while. Yeah. I commented on a couple of posts very discreetly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, hey, sweet, no makeup picture. Yeah, uh-huh, which is really nice. He had me on WoW, because I guess, like, I give out my battle.net and stuff like that, so one day he messaged me while I was running Tempest Keep trying to get uh, Ashes of Alara, and he was like, did you block me on Snapchat? And I was like, oh, I didn't mean to particularly, like, I'll add you again. And then we, like, kind of started talking a bit, and we played Heroes of the Storm a little bit, and we were just, like, just casual, like, friends and everything. Um, but I do specifically remember seeing his name like on Heroes of the Storm and like searching him up on Facebook and like finding him and I was like, he's kind of cute. And, but I didn't say anything about it. I was just kind of acknowledging like, I kind of like this guy a little bit. Um, I think it was like a day or two later, I needed help with a mount achievement on World of Warcraft. Uh, so I messaged him and I was like, hey, like, do you want to help? Just because he was like the only person online. And he came to help and it was like right away, like really, really fun and mm -hmm. stuff. So mm -hmm. like literally the first thing. So the amount achievement, literally uh, we had to be naked because uh, the boss guy, like we had to like let him hit us a bunch. So we didn't want to be like too strong and stuff with all of our armor. So I was like, hey, do you want to help me with this thing where we have to get naked and get like smashed by an ogre? Mm -hmm. And that was pretty much like the start of it. Mm -hmm. So... Um, yeah, when we like very first started playing, like we were like being really silly and like it was really easy to like talk to each other and everything. And that's like pretty much where it started. And then literally like every single day since then we like played WoW together all the time. I was like, damn, this guy was like really chill. Like I'm gonna make him help me with mount achievements and stuff. And then we did that for like a few weeks and everything. And this was in like July, July 20th or something. It's coming up really, really soon to like the one year of that. And yeah, yeah it's kind of it was crazy. about July 20th. 
Mm -hmm. July 20 to 24th, somewhere in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and things at the time weren't even going good with like my ex-boyfriend, so like I was kind of definitely very interested because I've never had like a World of Warcraft guy or anything, so I was like, <laughs> very excited. <laughs> I'm all sweaty. I'm not a video guy. Oh, mm -hmm. you're doing perfect though. Baby. Ugh. Ugh. You're so good at coming up with stuff to say. Ugh. That would be Taco Bell. Uh-huh. Are you getting drunk in your video? No, <laughs> I'm fine. So we started doing like more and more like stuff in WoW together and doing achievements and we just kept talking more and more every day and it kind of it kind of got to the point where we like talked on Snapchat and stuff outside of WoW and then eventually because we were talking so much we were like hey maybe we should try like voice chat mm -hmm. even though like I was really scared because I like don't voice chat with anyone but I like felt so comfortable with him and also there was like a lot of achievements where it's like we kind of need to talk to like coordinate things so I was like okay like let's do it whatever and the first time we voice chatted it was like really crazy mm -hmm. like um both of us like literally like the second we got on voice chat and like said hi to each other like instant sparks yeah it was crazy like I literally like when he said hi like I was just like Oh my god, like, hey, but like in my head I was like, oh my god, like what just happened? Like I was literally like so confused because something about, not just the way his voice sounded, but like something like happened to me when I heard his voice. Same. It was really crazy, but like we didn't talk about it then because we were just like friends at the time. Um, but we later discovered like, I think it was like a couple days later, even that night, I don't really know. Um, but we talked about it because basically I think it was like the next day I was like, hey, uh, I feel kind of weird telling you this and I was typing all this out because like we didn't voice chat all the time um, but I was like the other night when we voice chatted um, I don't really know how to say this but I like felt something like really like special going on Same. there like there was almost like some kind of like spark thing going on and he was like oh my god I felt he, he was like, oh my god, I felt the exact same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't fumble, you're doing I good. I <laughs> so like, oh. <laughs> you experienced the exact same thing. Um, oh my god, I totally forgot the most important part. Do you know what it is? Do you know what I forgot? When we were doing the naked um, achievement where like he had to come and help me and we were both oh, yeah, naked. Yeah, power went out. Um, yeah, so we were like doing it and it took like so many times and I kept feeling bad because I was like, oh my god, there's this random guy and I'm like wasting his time because like we keep having to like reset the fight. And then we finally almost had it and my power went out like literally at the worst time and I was like, first of all, really mad because we almost did it and it took so long and I was like, frick, like I don't even know who you are really mm -hmm. so I had to find him on Facebook which was kind of funny because super creep mode yeah I had to, yeah but like I knew that I had already looked him up before when we played Heroes of the Storm so like he was actually like still in my search history so I just like found him and I messaged him and I was like hey like uh this is like lady survival my power went out but I'm like coming back on and so that was just you were actually of, like I don't know if this is you yeah but I'm gonna assume that it is yeah I was like pretending like I didn't already know it was him <laughs> but I knew it was him because I had looked him up before a few months ago but I was like hey I don't know if this is you but this is Lady Survival <laughs> and I'm like trying to get back on and then he was like messaging me and he's like no it's okay like the boss is still just like not like it's still doing its thing <laughs> like nothing really happened so I logged back in and we did it and then like I got my mount because it was the last achievement that I needed and then we like flew out and he like took pictures of me like screenshots on my new mount and stuff and it was really yep, and really since fun. I had her on Facebook I sent a couple of memes and then she was mine. Yeah yeah exactly so it was like kind of like the most perfect thing like it was so crazy that like the first time that we like did something together on WoW like the power went out kind of forcing me to find him on Facebook it was really surreal and then yeah pretty much ever since then it was just like really crazy and like the whole situation was just like really funny and it really bonded us and everything. yeah we would chit chat all the time mm -hmm. and so we started voice chatting more and more and then classic was coming out soon and i was like are you gonna play classic because i definitely want to and he like wasn't sure i had sure. no intentions of playing classic because i didn't even know it was a thing yeah yeah so i was kind of like telling him about it and then it. she told me i was stoked because that's what i grew up on uh-huh yeah, and I like started playing in vanilla too, but I was really really little so I didn't really get to like experience it. So now I can like experience it with him, but like he does know, like because he was old enough at the time to like have experienced it properly, but like whereas me I never got to like raid or even, I don't even think I got to level 60 in vanilla, I think I got that in BC. So it's been like really really fun playing mm -hmm. and like he can kind of like tell me like how all the raids work and stuff like that because I've only ever done them for like transmog runs and stuff. So, yeah, but it's crazy because, like, he didn't even think he would play and now it's, like, all that we do all mm -hmm. the time and it's, like, our life and, like, we don't even so play fun. regional. 
Yep, and it's been a really, really big thing, and we've spent like, lots and lots of time on there together, and we mm -hmm. have so many characters, like, we've made so many matching characters. Like, I put together a thing on Instagram a while ago showing all of our, like, different, like, matched characters with, like, the same names or, like, just, like, classes that work really well together. And we have, like, probably over, like, 25 different, like, matching characters that we've gotten, like, either to max level or, like, decently high level. So, yeah, um, the being able to play WoW together has been, like, a really, really good thing for, like, long distance. Like, we look up stuff about long distance couples all the time and, like, a lot of them that it's like really hard to like handle or like you need to find something to like bond with or like set aside time to like spend time with your partner and a lot of people will be like oh we like talk for an hour at the end of the day but like we've literally like every single day since we've known each other have like been texting each other on Instagram and voice chatting and playing WoW for like the entire day. Yeah, like, at, least, at least four hours minimum. Minimum. Yeah, but on a typical day like 12 hours at least. I would yeah, say. if we have the day off together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we like talk non-stop and we never ever ever get sick of each other. Nope. And he's so sweet all the time. He's been so <laughs> good to me and I've never had a guy that's been so like, just like good. And like, it's so amazing that he plays WoW too because I've never had that and it's my life and stuff. So it's like, I don't have to worry about like feeling bad for playing for a long time because he's just as crazy as I am. <laughs> so yep. yeah, it's really crazy and Ever since EverQuest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, we're both like hardcore like MMO people and then he's always played League of Legends and I got really into Heroes of the Storm so we're both into MOBAs too and like we don't really like console games or like shooter games or anything it's like literally just like MMOs and like MOBAs and that's it but mostly wow <laughs> so mm, hard time because you're the one talking so I'm looking at you as if you're the focal point <laughs> but I know I gotta look at the camera sometimes because <laughs> when I watch YouTube videos and the guy's always staring at the guy who's <laughs> talking it's like uh -huh. a bad video mm -hmm. So I'm trying to look over it. I feel like I'm being too serious. Oh, you're perfect. Like I'm all like talking so much. Well, yeah, you're just trying to figure out what to say. It's been a while since you've made a video. I almost feel like we should start all over. Oh. But like not, like I just feel like I talk too much. We all have feel stuff how, you feel that sweaty. Out. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm like so nervous. Wow. All right, we'll scrap it and we'll talk about <laughs> how 